Let me just make this point here. She's now 22, first start in the Cosby series when she was 16 years old. This led to a spinoff. You knew that, A Different World, starred with Mickey Rourke in Angel Heart. Has a beautiful 16-month-old daughter married to Lenny Kravitz. Here is Lisa Bonet. <laughs> Listen, I got, they're crazy about you. I got, didn't vaccinate her baby. <laughs> and, had her and had the baby at home, did you? Yeah. Didn't go with all the rubber gloves and all that? That is great. I'll too. tell you. <laughs> uh -huh. And you breastfed your baby? I'm still breastfeeding. Uh -huh. Did you lie down for the delivery? Yes, you, you're not there. I was squatting. You were, you, did you do that, too? This, all right, let me tell you who else is here. Our next guest has never had a baby in his life. <laughs> From San Juan, Puerto Rico, you know him as uh, for his performances on stage, television, and film, notably Kiss of the Spider Woman, Tequila Sunrise, and a whole bunch of other things. Here is Raul Julia. <laughs> Uh huh. Went to school at home when he was a kid. His parents didn't send any of his. Uh, he, had, he has five children. One of five kids. Never went to school. Oh, I did for a little while. For a little while. <laughs> Shh, I haven't introduced you yet. Uh, you know him as. Uh, hey, only only be a best supporting actor nomination, uh, Academy Award nomination for Running on Empty. His latest film is on the marquee as we speak. I love you to death. Here's River Phoenix. <laughs> Let me tell you what is uh, not so funny. These are very politically active uh, young uh, artists who uh, give a darn, as we say in the afternoon on television, about a lot of things. Now, let's start with Lisa. You, uh, first of all, you have forsworn meat and uh, dairy. You, you don't eat it at all, not eat, no. No. No meat, no dairy. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can guess what's the staple of your diet. I bet you eat pasta. I like pasta. Uh, and you eat a lot of bird seed and green vegetables and all that. I mean, is there protein in this? You look fine to me, but I am I wondering. Feel good. I I eat uh, I, I eat just about everything except for meat and I mean there are so many other things to eat fruit and uh -huh. nuts and. You have become very very um, you are you are very impressed and uh, in many ways your own diet and your own lifestyle now has been uh, significantly determined by uh, John Robbins who is, uh, was, or was a, an heir to the Baskin Robbins ice cream fortune and walked away from uh, what could have been some kind of career for him, I'm sure he would have run the place, in order to get into what he saw was a whole lot of stuff going on in the world that he didn't like. And uh, one of those would be, uh, he, he, I assume you share his feeling that our preoccupation with meat and dairy products has what? Has polluted the earth? Has caused? Uh, we, we don't know about the chemicals in this thing. It's not good for us, and we've been sold Breast a bill. Cancer, colon cancer. It's very serious. You know, we've all, all my life. I've only heard about the four basic food groups and how good it is and essential these things are to our 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 existence. Mm -hmm. And yet, when you read the statistics and educate yourself about what's in it and what's it doing to our body, it's very scary. It's not good for us. And it's not good for the planet. Mm -hmm. You think the lobbying, uh, uh, the, the agribusiness and all this, I'm sure. Uh, Total that's... manipulation to keep a lot of people very rich. You feel that the political pressure or uh, the uh, marketing pressure to buy meat and dairy is not unlike the pressure on, uh, on women in the 50s and 60s not to breastfeed. Do I Absolutely. understand? Absolutely. Absolutely. And it, it only weakens us and it keeps us going back to the doctors, uh, keeps our children weak. and. We've completely turned, we don't live to eat, you know, we eat to live, and uh, we seem to forget that. Well, is, uh, Raul, how do you fit in here, right? Do you share uh, Ms. Bonet's uh, <clears throat> personal yes. talents here? I must say I'm a neophyte as far as, uh, the, I've just started reading John Robbins' book, and I find it very important, and I'm really, I've been working with the Hunger Project 
since 1977. So my commitment really, and uh, as well as the commitment of 6 million, 6.2 million people over the world, mm -hmm. is to the end of hunger by the end of the century. But I find that it's all related. Uh, the environment and ending hunger is all very much related to uh, a better world. Mm -hmm. What the Hunger Project specifically is about is through education and enrollment and communication to generate the will to end hunger in so, in so far as we make it a priority uh, in, the, in the political and economical agenda right. so that we actually create opportunity for those people who are hungry to feed themselves. Yeah. But they don't need to be hungry. You know? No, they don't. I'm just wondering, uh, you'll, uh, don't, don't accuse me of cynicism. Now I have to ask you these questions. It's so overwhelming, hunger in the world. I... And the yeah, politics well, of this thing, and whose side are you on, yeah. and are they starving because it's not there, or are they starving because some guy is, uh, who's leading the community? How much money do we give to African nations versus Western, no, white, well, you know, that kind of yeah, stuff? Yeah, well, it's overwhelming if we don't know anything about it. I think ignorance is what makes us overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Once we learn the truth about uh, the, the, the hunger, for example, or the environment, and how we can contribute, and how very much it's within our power, really, to do it, and to end hunger, and to uh, improve the environment, and to save children from diseases and starvation, and from false vaccinations and things like that. Once we educate ourselves, yeah. then it's much easier. It's uh, ignorance that makes us feel overwhelmed about things. Uh, jump in here, River, and as you do, let me remind this audience, that, as I've said, you're the oldest of five children. You were, I assume you, you were brought to ecological awareness is a very early in a, Luckily, when you were a kid, yeah. huh? Luckily, yes. Your parents? Yes, my parents uh, shared a lot of uh, kind of uh, untold uh, truths to me. And your, uh, your name is River. That's your name. Yeah. And you're, you, you just, what, were, what are your uh, siblings' names? Rain, Liberty, Summer, and Joaquin. Uh, and uh, uh, this sounds Native American, are you? Um, I have a little in me. Uh -huh. How much, I don't know. As much as you, you can get, I bet you hope. Uh, the first uh, citizens who cared about the earth were Native Americans, certainly in, in, in this part of the world. So uh, let's hear from you here now. You've joined uh, two other politically active uh, artists. Glad to be here. And, and tell me what's turning you, what moves well, you Well, I would now? like to redefine for everyone here, if possible, uh, what, what is an environmentalist. I think that we all just have that natural birthright to be so. It, it shouldn't be a label. In fact, you know, if, if the government has any qualms about it, they should uh, put it in perspective of maybe the defense budget, whereas this is, a, this is defense that we're talking about, defense for our, our life support system. And uh, let's, let's divert some of these, uh, these, these, these funds and, and, uh, and, and put them into a direction that, that might save all of mankind. I tell you what, it's not an F-117A, know. you know what I mean? And uh, I don't know if my brother-in-law is going to get a job if you guys take over here. Uh, you, you see, the problem is, I'm sure you know, we've got an economy that's very <clears throat> much built on war and Christmas. But and it's awfully hard to get people to... Uh, <laughs> it's hard to get people... Uh, global warming? I don't know. What do you think? You know, but, there's but, no... It's not a baby in a well. It's what what kind of life can anyone with success have if we have no... Um, stability. If we have no air to breathe, if we have no, oh. it, it's it's like we can't even uh, get along with each other until we have a, a place to do it from. Well, this point should also be made too. Before I collapse here of my own uh, uh, cynicism, uh, you you're signing up hundreds and hundreds of people a day into various parts of this effort. Mm -hmm. I think it's very misleading to suggest that people don't care. I don't mean to say that. Oh, people but do I, care. Yes, they, they do, do care. And, and and everyone cares. It's just like, where do you start? But, well, the question is, how, how much of the caring then is moved to political action? How many